All right, guys, so let's talk about this guy named Paul. I'm sure you've heard of him before. He was the guy whose name was Saul, and he was a persecutor of Christians. And then he met Jesus and became Paul and became one of Jesus's disciples. Um, so as a disciple of Jesus, it was his job to go around to different towns and cities and teach about Jesus and, and what Jesus teaches us to do. Um, and, you know, he was telling them stuff like, you know, about loving each other, kindness, mercy, joyfulness, peace, you know, all that stuff that Jesus teaches. You get the picture. Well, one of the places Paul goes to is a place called Corinth. And he visits them and writes to them several times to check in on them. Uh, the last letter he wrote to them was the Bible verse, or is the Bible verse that we're going to read today. And that Bible verse is 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 through 13. And it says, Goodbye, my friends. Do better and pay attention to what I have said. Try to get along with each other and live peacefully with each other. Now I pray that God, who gives love and mercy, will be with you. Give each other a warm greeting. All of God's people send their greetings. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will bless you and be kind to you. May God bless you with his love, and may the Holy Spirit join all your hearts together. Now, when I think about that verse, and everything that's going on in our society today. Um, I kind of feel like we're much like the Corinthians, um, kind of like what they would have been in Paul's time. That's what we're doing now, maybe. Um, see, they didn't understand how Christ sees us and how he wants us to love each other. That's why Paul had to go back and visit them over and over and over again, three times as a matter of fact. And so previous to this verse that we read, um, Paul gave the Corinthians a very strong warning. And he shared his fears that they were still doing things that are immoral, indecent, and shameful. Now, fast forward to today. What kind of warnings and fears do you think Paul would share with us? What do you think he would say to our community, our nation, our world? I don't think he would be very happy with how things are going right now. I know I'm not. So let's imagine what he might say. Maybe he would condemn the innocent killing of black and brown people. Maybe he would warn us about destroying each other when injustices arise. I'm sure he would be stern and tough about how our leadership should lead and how our citizens should care and love one another in spite of our differences. He might even tell us that caring for each other means wearing a mask and keeping six feet apart and washing our hands. Not sure, but maybe. Not only does he share the love and peace of God, this bigger than life um, energy that surrounds us with love and peace, he also offers prayers for Jesus to bless us and to be kind to us. And then he even brings the Holy Spirit into the picture. Um, remember that spirit that we talked about last week with Pentecost, with the fires? Um, and the, the Spirit is what joins our hearts together. So we can understand one another with compassion and peace. What a beautiful picture that is. So let that sit with you for a moment. Here's what he said. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will bless you and be kind to you. I may God bless you with his love and may the Holy Spirit join all your hearts together. It is with that encouragement that we can have the courage to stand up and keep trying to be the hands and feet of Jesus in the face of hard times. Finally, I encourage you to reach out to someone hurting right now and remind them that with God surrounding us, Jesus guiding us, and the Holy Spirit filling us up, we can do better. Hashtag do something, 
hashtag Black Lives Matter. Love you guys.